everyone, we're going to integrate this right here using the substitution rule. First, we're going to let u equal something. I'm going to let u equal this x squared plus 1. A lot of times it's the expression underneath the radical, but most importantly, or it could be something in parentheses. Most importantly, though, notice that this exponent is a 2. That exponent right there is a 1. This is exactly one integer higher, the exponent, than the other portion. And remember with the derivatives, what's the derivative of x squared? It's 2x. So you look for that portion that has that exponent one integer higher. So that's why I'm letting u equal to this entire x squared plus 1. That's the first step. Step two, we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Okay, du dx equals 2x. Now I'm going to apply dx on both sides, so rewrite this as du equal to 2x dx. And lastly, I'm going to isolate this x dx on this right side. This is so I can do the substitution. See the x and see the dx? Uh-huh. But what I have to do is I have to divide it 2 on both sides here. So I get 1 half, <coughs> excuse me, du. Now, I'm ready to do the substitution. This right here, my friends, is going to go in and replace dx dx. So it's going to replace this, and we're going to put a 1 half du. This letter u is going to go in and replace this x squared plus 1. So sure, that radical right there, that square root is going to stay. But look what you have now. You have an integral. You still have that radical there. The u is inside of this. So here's the substitution up. That's a u. And this x dx got replaced by this 1 half du. So I'm not going to put the du here, but I'm going to put the 1 half in front of this integral. We know that's appropriate. So now all I have to do is integrate this. I've created something I can integrate. Yes. So to integrate this, notice everyone, that's just u to the 1 half power. This integral is not too bad. And I'm just going to pump that up by one integer, and I get u to the 3 halves. So I have 1 half u to the 3 halves. Divided by 3 halves, ah, how do I divide 3 halves in math? That's the same thing as multiplying to 2 thirds, isn't it? So I multiply 2 thirds. Ah, I can cancel these two twos. And everyone, this final expression is 1 third u to the 3 halves plus your constant. But one more thing, resubstitute. Everyone, this is in terms of u. Remember, the original problem is in terms of x. So just go back to the beginning. What would you let u equal to? x squared plus 1. Just put it back, resubstitute. Final answer, one third. I'll put a big parentheses here. X squared plus one, that was you, raised to the three halves plus C. And when the best part, this is your expression, this is the antiderivative, you want to check this? Take the derivative of this. Yes, it'll require a chain rule, but if you take the derivative of this, you'll come right back to this.